last fit of the year, here's all I want for Christmas, got some new vinyl. Hello VC and welcome to the Plastic Soundwave Culp. Um, I figured I'd get up in my ugly Christmas sweater one more time before I put it away for the year. Um, this is a great one because it it's ugly, it's Christmassy, and it scares old people. But the best thing about this video is, is finally I get to show some new records that I got, that I got for Christmas. Now before I do this, I want to preface the reason why I haven't shown any new vinyl is because in October, November, and December, I don't buy any records because of birthdays, we go away usually for Thanksgiving, and then Christmas you're trying to save up for. So I do my bit by those three months, I don't buy any records. But it is really cool when I finally get some um, for Christmas, and then after that I can go kind of ape shit. So these are the records that I got for Christmas this year, 2019. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, my brother sent to me the new Ghost single. Um, it's pretty good. It's definitely regular ghost fanfare. Um, I love the artwork for the for the cover. It's awesome. It's another one where it's kind of two pictures in one. So the two songs on here are "Kiss the Go Goat" and the other one is "Mary on a Cross." Um, if you know Ghost at all, you can probably figure out what the topic is basically about. But the name of this single is Seven Inches of Satanic Panic, which is funny because I remember the Satanic Panic back in the 80s when before Call of Duty or rap music, it was heavy metal music that was ruining the country. And both of these songs are pretty good. Like I said, it's, uh, I don't know. His songs seem to have, like, more meaning to them than what I pick up on initially at first. I need to hear it a few more times, but I think I, uh, definitely got a good gift here. So, it's, I can add it to my, uh, ever-growing 45 singles list. And next up here, we've got King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, um, another band that I liked. I'm trying to get all of their albums on uh, vinyl, at least their studio albums. Um, this one actually is their first EP. It's a reissue. Um, the original issue has a little bit different, slightly different cover artwork. Uh, he's got two eyes on here for, or two pairs of eyes, and the original he only has one pair of eyes. A little bit different picture going on here, but basically the same. Uh, it's really good. I've just been listening to it. So in case you don't know, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard um, are a band out of Australia, starting about 2011, and they put out a shit ton of albums since then. Um, this is their first EP. Um, it's pretty good. Definitely garagey. Um, I've only heard it a couple times so far, so I haven't been able to figure out which one's my favorite song on here yet. Though, I think Let It Bleed is a good one. And I think Crooked Dial. And uh, actually, this one's pretty sweet too, because 
it does come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. And comes on beautiful red vinyl. Kind of a magenta. It's a little bit different than the one in Discogs. The one in Discogs was much more transparent. This one's a little bit more translucent. And so the next one on our list here again is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Uh, this one is Quarters. Um, this is a little bit later on in their discography. This one comes out about 2015. Um, basically, it's just four songs, all 10 minutes and 10 seconds long. Um, actually, it's not a bad record at all. Uh, it's pretty good. The third song is maybe kind of the slowest. It kind of has like a old 50s rock and roll kind of vibe to it. Uh, but the other ones are all kind of more proggy, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Proggy jazzy? I don't know. But uh, this one's great. Actually, we take it out. It, I got the version here. There's a version where it's got just four different pictures here, and this is one of them. But this one is the castle face version. And so it comes like this. So you get, usually get the album that looks just like this but it's all in one you know, piece and it's a regular sleeve. And then you got the lyrics on the other side. And it just folds up. And you can actually go ahead and And you can actually stick the record in there pretty easily. So yeah, this works out pretty good. It works in the sleeve. You don't have to pop it all the way out every time. You just grab the record as usual. Right out the side there. Um, a really good album. Um, I get people, some people don't like very like long songs and for them 10 minutes is a long song. Um, but not a bad, <clears throat> not a bad place for you start with this band. Okay, next up is a band that uh, I, the first time I saw these guys uh, was on Dots and Loops and I thought the cover looked pretty cool on it. Um, I streamed it a few times, listened to it. This is such a good album. The band is Fuzz, this is their self-titled album. Uh, it's uh, Ty Siegel, um, which I'm learning more about. He's drummer um, for a lot of bands, it looks like. And uh, this is one of those projects, uh, Fuzz. And if you like Blue Cheer, I think you'd like these guys. These guys, it's just a little bit cleaner than Blue Cheer. So, or their first album at least. I haven't heard a lot of Blue Cheer, but Blue Cheer's first album, uh, the you know biggest eruptus one. Um, there's songs on here that sound a lot like that album, um, but just sound a little bit cleaner, a little bit newer, a little bit fresher. Um, yeah, it's so good. The stereo on this album is pretty good too. So it's definitely psychedelic heavy rock. Um, nothing too fancy in it. Black vinyl, go gatefold, but beautiful, beautiful album cover. I I really like that cover. I could definitely stare at this thing for a while while I'm listening to the record, especially if I'm in the proper mood. Then we got another band, and I think I might have heard about this on on uh, Dots and Loops as well, but I'm not positive. I know I saw it on another channel. I saw this on two channels. 
And I got this one, uh, Royal Trucks, white stuff. I ended up getting the Fat Possum exclusive version, uh, which is, I believe this is embossed. This is embossed on here. I don't know if you can see it that well on camera. But uh, really good album. They sound like a mix of a bunch of different people. I've only got a chance to listen to this a couple of times. Um, what I've heard so far is really good. Um, it's a mishmash of a lot of psychedelic band sounds that you recognize when you when you listen to this. Um, really good, lo-fi. Um, came on a beautiful clear with red, white, and blue. There, you can see it in real life. I'm sure I'm gonna have pictures up so you can see. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, kind of in that same vein as Fuzz, psychedelic, but they do a little bit of hip hop mixed in with it. Um, all kinds of stuff. Again, I've been listening to a lot of things and uh, that are new and I'm not as good at remembering all of the song names and all that kind of thing as well as I used to. Um, but Get Used to This is a good song. White Stuff is a good song. I believe it's Suburban Juice, Juicy? Suburban Junkie Lady. Sorry, it's, hard. it's a tough font. Whooper Dave. Yeah, this whole album is just, it pretty much kicks ass. Um, so if you get a chance, white stuff. And actually, if you just get the black uh, the black vinyl version, I think it's under 10 bucks on Amazon. And so it's a good deal. So if you're like me, and one of the gifts that you get are like Amazon gift cards, um, I go ahead and do that that day, because you can do it right on your phone. And I can say, hey, this is the record you bought me. Thanks a lot. Um, and then, uh, I'm waiting for two records to come in. So when those two records come, come in, I can't speak. So when those two records come in, I'm going to add them to the video and then it will be done and then we'll put it out. All right. It's a couple days later kind of unusual um, I live in the Southern California high desert I live here because I like the Sun it's rain uh, I'm sorry it's snowed three times already and it's supposed to snow again tomorrow I hate snow there's a reason why I live here all right so the first record to come up Oceans of the Moon. Gotta get some pictures up of that. Um, I'm subscribed to the Castle Face Records channel, and uh, whenever they spit something up there, I check it out. So I found out about this band um, on on YouTube uh, from the record company the same record company as the OCs. Um, the songs on here that are really good are Baby Chiffon. I think I'm on a roll. Blo no, Blown blown My Mind. Blowing My Mind. And so uh, I'm gonna give this a good listen to today while I edit the video. Um, this is actually a, a good record to get on Amazon. Um, I think it's another one that's under 10 bucks. I think it's like $8 or 
It's under nine dollars, I think. I think it's self-titled. So, yeah. I don't know that much about this band. I just heard a couple songs from them, and hopefully, the rest of the album is as good as the two songs that I've heard: "Blowing My Mind" and "Baby Chiffon." Baby Chiffon. Yeah. I'll put a link for it in the in the description. Okay. So I don't know that much about this band yet either. Uh, High on Fire. Um, I like the guitarist from Sleep, and I understand that this is his group now besides Sleep. So uh, I saw him on uh, I think it was Loudwire. And he was just playing some guitar, some of his favorite guitar riffs. And uh, I figured, what the hell, I'll give it a go. Um, they wanted a little bit more for their first album than I was going to pay right now, because I was doing it off my gift card. But uh, this is their latest album, and it was only like 18 bucks, so I figured I'd give it a go. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Oh, so I'm looking at the hype sticker here. This one is colored vinyl. Now I learned this on Vinyl New Wave. Let's see how this works. Nope. <laughs> oh no, it did open this side. So double album, limited edition color vinyl. I don't know if I'll keep that hype sticker or not. I usually don't believe the hype. So wonderful gatefold. <laughs> the backside. Let's see what this vinyl is like. Okay. It looks like another red vinyl. No, oh, red with a little black smoke. I'll try to get a picture of this up. And this looks pretty much the same. Red with a little touch of white in it. So I got to do the old ritual, uh, cleaning, checking, playing, covering, and then uh, hopefully that'll uh, come out pretty good. So I'm looking forward to these last two that I just showed you. Uh, so I got a good six albums that I got for Christmas, seven albums. So uh, yeah, this one's a nice Christmassy one. <laughs> um, so that's my 2019 Christmas haul or Christmas gifts that I got this year. So um, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, uh, holiday, whatever you celebrate. Um, hope you have a happy new year, if that's what you celebrate at this time of year. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Finally showing some new records on my channel. Well, new for me. Let's get it on.